Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, I'd just like to kind of answer a comment uh, that a viewer on my channel had in regards to when they watch my videos, they see me shooting enemies and sometimes the bullet impact causes the enemies to explode, you know, ultimately causing an instant death. And on top of that, uh, the discussion kind of went to certain weapons that I have will cause uh, a slight damage to other enemies around those enemies that I'm shooting at. So that's what I like to kind of cover quickly in this video. Uh, now, I don't really do a whole lot of, you know, preliminary testing, you know, on weapons. There's uh, a lot of other YouTubers such as, you know, Angry Turtle, they... They do. A, he does a really good job uh, and puts a lot of time and effort into his videos in terms of weapons and armor and uh, help the Fallout 76 community. But I'm going to try my best just to kind of explain um, the, the comments and the questions in my videos in regards to what they see. And uh, I'd like to thank, now hopefully I don't butcher it too much, uh, Fortini uh, Marzali, who had asked the question. And uh, I'm sure if a person asks the question, there's many others, and uh, maybe they're just afraid to ask, right? So uh, what I did is, um, let's go into my perk cards here real quick. I, I don't have anything real special on, you know what I mean? Uh, basically, I, I'm, I mainly run like a rifleman build on my, you know, day-to-day -day stuff, right? Nothing real crazy. Uh, but the uh, legendary perk card, it's right here. So I have, it's called Far Flung Fireworks. In my, my case, is two star. Enemies killed with a ranged weapon have a 13% chance to explode. So this particular legendary card is what causes the explosion. So if I shoot at enemies, it doesn't matter what kind of enemy it is, uh, that single uh, bullet will cause an explosion, causing, you know, instant death. And I find it's very useful. I highly recommend this uh, legendary perk card. Once when you get into uh, legendary perk cards, I highly recommend this bad boy, because it happens frequently enough that uh, people notice it on my videos. Okay, so that's back out of there. I uh, just want to quickly uh, just kind of show you my stats. You know, I have no, you know, nothing, no other special effects, you know, on that will create uh, that explosions and uh, extra kind of damage so um i believe the damage uh like when you shoot at the ground or when you shoot at other enemies other enemies around will receive like a damage of like anywhere from you know i've seen like from 10 to 25 percent or not percent but uh 10 10 to 25 damage uh other enemies around that particular targeted uh enemy <clears throat> and I only find that happens when I have weapons that have the explosive legendary effect on them, okay? Or a Goss weapon, of course. Let's take a look at the uh, the weapons uh, I'm just going to kind of practice and use, right? So I have this anti-armor hunting uh, lever action rifle. As you can see, it says their bullets explode for 20% weapon damage 2 star, okay? Uh, so that's that one. Here is just a regular anti-armor uh, plasma caster. It doesn't have uh, any uh, explosive effect on it. We're going to look at this Enclave plasma rifle. Same kind of deal. It doesn't have an explosive uh, effect on it. Uh, this fixer, you guys have seen me use this many a times. Okay. Uh, this has the, you can see there, under the two stars, says bullets explode for 20% weapon damage. We're going to use that as well. Here is the two-shot handmade that I use uh, pretty much all the time. Same thing, bullets explode for 20% weapon damage as the two-star. Uh, we're going to try out this uh, two-shot Goss pistol, okay? Now, as we all know, uh, Goss uh, pistol, Goss shotgun, rifle, minigun, they all have kind of like that uh, explosive uh, effect kind of already on them, all right? And of course, this Western Spirit, this Western Spirit just to leave her action, uh, it doesn't have uh, the explosive uh, effect uh, on it there. 
And it's just one more weapon I just want to grab here. This guy here. This uh, Goss rifle. We're going to grab him as well. And we'll take a look at him. There he is right there. Same kind of deal. Uh, these Goss weapons. Uh, they all kind of have a, an explosive effect on them. Like just, uh, just, just part of the weapon. Just what the weapon is. All right. So we're going to kind of try these out. And I'm going to just try them out on some uh, enemies here. Go to the top here. Let's try this um, anti-armor uh, lever action. This has the uh, explosive effect on it. So let's go down here. Let's uh, get something to eat here first. That's not what I want. And um, continue on with uh, with this. There we go. That's what I wanted there. There we go. There we go. You guys don't have to hear my stomach there. So there's some ghouls down here. We're just in Clarksburg. Nothing real fancy or special. I just kind of want to demonstrate uh, for that viewer and maybe other people who have the same uh, kind of question. All right. So there's our victim there. Our ghoulish friend. So we're going to shoot at the ground. So you see that? So you see how that damage... I'm not shooting at him. Shooting at the ground. But he's receiving. Like he's... That's pretty good. 38%. Just because of that... Uh, explosive effect. So... I believe it's typically called like a uh, splash damage. Right from the explosive uh, weapon. See that was quite a far away. And I still... Uh, <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh. sorry, I just can't help myself. <laughs> when I see that happen, I just just lose my mind. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Let's uh, check out here. Then another weapon. Let's try this uh, plasma caster. All right. <clears throat> Doesn't have an explosive effect on it, but we'll try to get near him. <clears throat> As you see, there's no. Um... Oh. As you can see, uh oh. As you can see, uh, there's no uh, that splash uh, damage. From this guy. See him? Nothing. Now let's try that lever action I just tried. See that? Let's go over here a little bit. No, he's, he ran away. <clears throat> Wish he didn't do that. Hey, Google, listen, I'm trying to do a video here, bud. If you want to kind of, you know, help, you can help better, all right? All right, let's uh, over here. I hey, see even like four. See that there, fifteen. And I'm just shooting at the ground here, and uh, that's a real good way to uh, kind of explain it and show that. All right, let's try this uh, enclave uh, plasma rifle. Let's try to do the same thing. So same kind of deal where he's not getting any kind of splash. Wow, that's quite a reach there, bud. So he's not getting any damage at all by hitting the ground. All right. <laughs> Love it. Love these weapons, man. Totally awesome. Huh. Gold four, perfect. All right, so that's uh, that's that one. Let's check out this uh, Gauss rifle. All right. Now the Gauss weapons usually have that explosive uh, effect on them, just like by default. So let's go over here and test it out. Now, as always, you always got to keep in mind this game, <laughs> as you know, even if you played for a short period of time, this game changes all the time. All right. Um, <clears throat> there's always something that's kind of new. 
and uh, I just kind of wanted to show what's going on right now. So this is August uh, 2023. So you see that? I just one shot, and they're all getting damage. See that? See how they're all getting damage? Watch this. But, hey! See that? See he's getting the damage? All of them, about 26 or so. See what happens here? Even though I'm not shooting at them, I'm shooting just at the ground. Alright, so that's that. Goss rifle. What else we got here? Okay, so there's the fixer. <clears throat> Popular, same thing. It has the explosive effect. Shoot at the ground here, between them. So see, he's, they're getting damaged, not even shooting at them. Just getting damaged, just from like a splash damage effect they're getting. Right? Totally, you know, doesn't really make a rhyme or reason what it is, but see, I didn't even shoot him and he died just because of the splash effect that the explosive uh, weapons have. That's why I highly recommend getting the expl getting explosive weapons because uh, just because you get that extra little bit of damage, you know what I mean? It counts in the long run. That's just my opinion anyway. And there's other people that could explain it a lot better than I can, but this is the best way that I can explain it to, to folks, to kind of just show them. And of course, you've all seen me use this handmade. Same thing with this uh, Goss pistol. Let's shoot at the ground here. Doesn't seem to work that well. Maybe he's has the time behind there. There we go, see. Shooting at the ground. Getting damage from 127. There we go. Just with this Goss uh, pistol. Let's try this Western Spirit now. Okay. This Western Spirit doesn't have the explosive effect on it. Just shoot at the ground here. So if I had the other uh, lever action, which I'm going to use here in a second, see, he's not getting, he's, and he's just like he's almost dead, right? Almost dead. Just shooting at the ground. He's not getting any any extra damage. So let's pop back up to that uh, anti-armor uh, lever action that has the explosive effect. Watch what happens. See that? Okay, shooting at the ground the same spots and just that splash damage killed him. Right? So that explains that. That's, that's the best, easiest way I can explain that. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and we'll, we all, I have that uh, legendary perk card on. Far-flung uh, fireworks. Okay. We're going to try to take care of these uh, these guys here. Now let's go back to the lever action. Doesn't have the explosive effect on it. Let's see if we can get these one of these guys to explode. And it's random, like it's just a 13% chance that's going to happen, right? It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough. It happens enough, but it's funny. Because I find, uh, like, I just upgraded that uh, Legendary Perk card to the two-star. I just did it, like, maybe within this past month. But I find when it was the one-star, I find that it, I got way more explosions with it. So I think it was only, like, 10% or something like that with the one-star. And I, and I don't know why that is. It, it's just, it's, as I said, it's totally random. doesn't make a, a, you know, like a sense. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite odd. But again, the far-flung fireworks, it's more of a random thing. You know, just that slight chance. But it does, when it works well, it works well. So it's not... Uh, I'm not getting that within that 13%, I guess. Alright. But you've seen uh, enough of my videos, uh, but that's that's where that explosion uh, comes from, as far from far flung uh, fireworks. Let's go somewhere. Else. Oh, let's try this guy here. <laughs> let's try it on some scorched. I find it works better with scorched for some reason. <laughs> Could be just me, but uh, we'll try it on some scorched here. I don't want the video to be too too long. Um, I just want to kind of use those different weapons that I have to show you. It's just because if you guys, you know, watch my channel and support it. And when someone asks a question like that, 
you know, I like to answer them, but I like to kind of answer them in a video as well, you know, to show, you know, proof, you know, because I could just talk and you could take my word for it, but it's always better to show uh, proof in my mind. It just makes it more clearer. Cause it's hard to t hard to type uh, when you're uh, exchanging, you know, comments and stuff. Yeah, it's totally random. We might not even see it here. I just want to kind of go through here, see if we can see that explosion. But it, again, it's only 13%. And, you know, I usually go for headshot. Oh, can't dog food, baby. Yep. Huh. Can't uh, miss that. Uh, but uh, usually I go for the head anyway. So when you see it, it's not any specific uh, body part. Um, as long as you hit them, I guess, but, all right, but, uh, that's the best, uh, the best way I can explain it to you guys, and, uh, I kind of hope it helps, but, uh, the far-flung fireworks is, uh, worth it to have, I find, because I find as much as it doesn't work, it gets you out of, out of a bind sometimes. And when you're a new player, I know it's, I think it was like one of the first cards I got just based on a recommendation from a YouTuber at that time. I find it's, it's gotten me out of situations just randomly. <laughs> randomly got in that, in that 13% or 10% with that one star uh, card. Take a look at it again. This guy right here. All right, so there you go. Um, let's just stop the video there. If you guys have any, any more questions, uh, just let me know. Uh, let me know if this video was helpful at all, and um, I just kind of wanted to answer it better. I can answer it better just showing proof in a video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out, and I hope you all have a nice day.